morning, everyone. This is Mark Lieberman from BeWorkTrader.com. And, of course, you're listening to the French National Anthem, both in tribute to what happened in Paris on Friday, but also as a reminder that borders, language, and culture is what uh, protects a nation, and the French are acting on that at the moment. Hopefully, we see that here in the United States, which, unfortunately, has not been totally the case here in recent decades. More on that at another time. Here at VRTrader.com, we do offer a series of products, including our silver letter, platinum letter, our gold letter, which covers natural resources, our annual forecast model, which actually called for potential year-end sell-off, published back in February, our vice letter, which emphasizes the new hot cannabis sector, and our book, The Definitive Guide to Volume Trading, The Trader's Book of Volume, which covers all volume indicators, also published in Chinese, with a uh, description, of course, of our leave of it volume reversal. We also have our Wall Street World Radio program, which I'd like you to tune into if you have time, Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern, at GCNlive.com. That's Genesis Communication Network, GCNlive.com. It is archived if you... Uh, do miss a show, and uh, we are looking to syndicate the show on other stations around the country. Let's jump into the uh, charts here. Uh, we're looking at uh, MDY on the daily chart. This is a leave of a negative volume reversal formed on November 5th. As you know, I try to tie in a 5-3-3 stochastic, and if it's declining, and you get a negative ER that gives you a sell signal, whether you're trading for two days or more, this was your confirming short-term trade. You can see there was a positive prior to that. But let's take a look at the uh, DIA, the Spider DIA, which also generated a negative ER on November 5th. And here we can see the Dow Industrial selling off sharply. It's all down in overnight trading as well. But a little bit more ominous is the fact that on the weekly charts, we generated a negative VR this past week, but also a declining 5.33 stochastic. And whether this is going to mirror the pattern we saw back on July 20th, which ultimately led to the August 24th the crash, that I can't say. But uh, definitely a warning here. And in overnight trading, markets are lower. So something to be aware of. And uh, as you can tell, I'm a bit bearish based on what we've been seeing here. Of course, the big surprise that you're getting a sell-off at the end of the year in this holiday time frame, on, of course, was triggered by what Janet Yellen said that they were supposedly going to do in mid-December. That all may change. This uh, event in uh, France and the sell-off in the market may be outlier events and suddenly the Fed doesn't act and then you may see the markets take off again to the upside, which wouldn't surprise me at all. So I um, appreciate you uh, tuning in and uh, we'll get back to you uh, next week with a, another update. Thank you.